What's up guys, the Sorcerer is here back with another video and today we have a magic trick that we want to show you and it's called vacuum cleaner. So this is how it looks like. At home, I have a, I have a carpet. I have a carpet at home. Let me make my carpet. So this fan will represent my carpet, remember that. And I'm going to tell you about four different types of people in the world. The first type of person, he throws crumbs on the floor or on the carpet unintentionally. He doesn't realize he's done it. There's some people in the world who throw crumbs unintentionally, but then later realize that they have thrown crumbs, but they're just too lazy to pick it up, so they just let it go. And then there are some people in the world who throw crumbs unintentionally again, but then they try to hide. They actually try to hide the crumbs, just like this. So you can't see the crumbs anymore, right? The carpet looks clean because they've hit it. But I haven't even gotten to the worst part of the people in the world. That made no sense. Again, I haven't even gotten to the worst part yet. That sounds better. There you go. This Ace of Clubs. What this Ace of Clubs does, it, it, throws, it throws crumbs intentionally on the carpet just like that. Knowing that there'll be a person cleaning up after them. So one day, I was like... Night! None of that is going to happen anymore. I don't want any crumbs on my carpet. I'm going to make myself a vacuum cleaner. So what I did was, I took the Ace of Clubs and I transformed it into a vacuum cleaner. Like that. Just like that. And I went to my carpet and I sucked out every single crumb on the floor. And then when I flip the carpet over just to check I have no crumbs, all the crumbs were gone. And by the way, when I say crumbs, I mean aces, just so you guys know. So there are no aces whatsoever in the carpet at all. So where did the aces go? Well, if you've ever, if you've ever had a vacuum cleaner, they suck stuff inside. So the only logical explanation would be the aces would be inside the vacuum cleaner upside down just like that let's learn how to do that one all right let's do a tutorial but before you do this trick it requires a small setup all you got to do is get the four aces and put them at the bottom that's it and after that you're ready to go so that's what you do in the beginning of the trick, this is what you say to the spectator. You say, I have a carpet at home. And when you say that, you riffle the deck about halfway. And then take out the bottom deck with your right hand and flip it over so now the aces are showing. And now when that's done, you fan out the left packet just like that and say to the spectator that this represents my carpet. Now if you can't fan the deck, um, I suggest either learning it or... Just trying to spread it out with your hand, just like this, and trying to just fight through it, you know. You gotta know how to do a fan, guys. One of the most important things as a magician, you have to know that. But anyways, when you have your fan down, this is what you say. You pick up the first ace and you say, some people throw crumbs on the carpet unintentionally without knowing. Now you put the first ace and make sure you're out dropping the card halfway through. You're not putting the ace all the way inside the fan and then afterwards you take out the second ace and now you're gonna say some and some people drop crumbs unintentionally too but then later realize or just say this they drop crumbs unintentionally but then are too lazy to pick it up just say that <laughs> I'm trying to make it too complicated and then afterwards you take out the third ace in this case the ace of spades and then you say and then there's some people who throw crumbs on the carpet and then try to hide it. Now, at this point, what you want to do, you want to close the fan, but you want to close it in a counterclockwise motion. So you're going to take your right hand and close it like this. Alright? Let me do that one more time for you guys. You're not closing the fan like this, like a one-handed close, like that. You're not closing it like that. You're actually closing it counterclockwise, so like that. So let me just place the aces. One in the left, middle, and right.
rights, just like that, and make sure they're out dropped. So now you square up the deck, and when you save and they try to hide the crumbs, this is what you gotta do. You take you now the aces are out dropped, and now what you wanna do, you wanna place the deck in your left hand, and you wanna your thumb. It's like a mechanics grip now, except the index finger will have to go a bit more on top. So now when you're in that position, you want to take your index finger and you want to pull down on the aces. And then when you pull down on the aces like that, you want to loosen your grip and point the deck towards the table and the floor. And what that will do, it will slide the top deck, whoops, to the top, hiding the aces. And then that's how they hide the crumbs, right? But if you're having trouble doing that and cards are falling like me, what I like to do is I just push off the cards to the top just like that, making it easy for myself. Just like that. So now when that's done, you're showing, and now when that's done, what you want to do is you want to grip the aces that you have on the side very, not very tightly, but tightly. And you want to pull down on them, right? So here are the aces. Whoop, one second. There are the aces, you're pulling down on them. And then now what you're going to do, you're going to take the bottom packet that's showing and you're going to pull that out. And while you're pulling it out, you're pushing down on the aces and when that will do, it'll make the aces stay in the same place as you can see. Just like that. So now the aces are on top. So now that's done, and you say to them, now we're at the hiding part, right? And then you say, look, all the, the carpet looks the same because they hid the crumbs. And while you're showing the spectator how the cards are all the same, what you want to do, you want to get out three cards from the top, which are three aces, and you want to get a pinky break on top of that. And then after we have the pinky break, you want to direct the attention of the spectator to this deck right here, which has the ace on top. And now you say, but there's one person that I haven't talked about. The get, oh my god. Well, that sucks. There's, there's a blooper reel, but anyways, now you say, there's an ace of hearts. This card is the worst. And this is what you say. This card is the worst. Make sure you say that. Because, and, and then after you say this card is the worst, you say, these guys throw crumbs intentionally, not unintentionally, make sure you say intentionally on the carpet. And when you say intentionally, get the deck, hover it over, and then just drop it. Just like, I'll just drop it like that. And now what you have, you still have that pinky break, and you have that ace now on the top. And now when that's done, what you want to do is slide the ace off and put it on the deck that you had on your left hand. So you're just taking your left thumb, and you're just sliding that ace of hearts off. And now when that ace of hearts is on here, you have the ace the all the aces that were on top of that deck on this deck now which is weird right so again three aces right so I'll just make this easier for you guys you have that pinky break right which underneath the three aces and then what you wanted you drop the packet you drop the packet just like that have that pinky break and now slide off that ace on top while taking while picking up the three aces from this deck this deck and then when that's done, put this deck down. You don't need it anymore. Well, you're gonna need it in a second, but and then say, I hate this card. And then and then after, you're gonna say, I'm saying you're gonna say a lot in this video, oh my god. Please don't judge me. I'm just telling you guys a good story. But if you have a better story to tell in this, just tell your story. But anyways, you're gonna say, I'm gonna convert transform this ace into a vacuum. You put the, and then afterwards you put this ace on top of this deck upside down so it's facing it's facing down and then afterwards you pick up the deck and then you out jog it to the side right you out jog the card to the side so now the card is like this focusing come on focus all right now the ace of hearts which is on top over here it's out jog like this and when you have it out jogged, you're gonna swing cut the packet in half and take these aces and put it on top of it, just like that. And you're gonna turn over the packet, just like this. And now you can do 
your magic, your magic powers, which is vacuum the carpet. You're vacuuming the carpet. No, 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 vacuuming, vacuuming, and then you see, bang, the aces are gone. And then you turn up the deck. No aces are to be found in this deck. And then you say, the, the aces disappeared. Well, they didn't disappear. They just got sucked into the vacuum. And then you spread out the, the vacuum cards. And then the four aces are upside down. Just like that. And then you can flip it over. The four aces. Just like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you guys won't make fun of me. Because I said... You're gonna see, you're gonna see, right? So, anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe and thanks for the, thanks for all your support, guys. For, I mean, we reached 50 subscribers. Uh, we appreciate it, and we love you for people who subscribed. So, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Wow, I'm repeating myself a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. We're the sorcerers, and we're out.